Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube segment, I am going to be giving a review of uh, the Greyhound bus services. Now, looking at this, uh, my experience with Greyhound, unfortunately, was not the best. It was really, it caused a lot of exasperation, made me feel very sad, actually very despondent, very frustrated, and really, uh, I am not really going to give it the best review. I'm looking at it like as far as of stars go. I really, I, I don't like to give real negative reviews on anything, but I'm giving it like well one star out of five. I wish I can give it more, but there was a number of recent disappointments uh, connected with my Greyhound experience. Well, the first thing is I think. The prices can be a little bit lower. They had a recent uh, trip I inquired about, which was like $200, and it was really like like a 400 and less than 500 mile trip. I don't understand why it, there it seems like there's some trips that are less in distance but are more in money. They don't really elaborate or expound as to why that is, and. Another thing, uh, what, something uh, about their one of their policies really perturbs me. It's the fact that if you are to say uh, cancel, uh, you need to can, you need to reschedule something, a trip, and you're calling well after the departure date, like say, like it's two or three hours after, they will hold that against you and they will not refund uh, the money. And I'm not saying this is corrupt or anything, but at the same time, it makes people feel like it is because sometimes you can't predict extenuating circumstances or something that could be completely unanticipated that you didn't expect, uh, which per prevented you from actually making uh, the, the departure time in time. The first two attempts that I, I tried to get out of a certain city uh, to come back to where I wanted to be, uh, the ride that I had did not uh, got lost and didn't get me there on time. So I mean, I called Greyhound up, of course, on both attempts and tried to see if I can get a refund. And it, it was after the departure time, and it wasn't like you know two days later. Uh, or anything like that. You're talking about within hours after that departure time, and of course they are very, hate to use harsh words, very obstinate and stubborn and intransigent regarding that. Um, I was looking at Greyhound's chart, and it has their Mercury uh, in Taurus. It's no shocker. Their Sun in Taurus. I mean, so this is where a lot of that intransigence and thinking and very stubborn and not deviating from a certain thing and it's all it really comes into play in this focus on their money and the thing about it is to another thing that I have a, um, a problem with with uh, with Greyhound is the fact okay they will say okay if you, they send something to you and in terms of a confirmation to your email, and if there's something misspelled, as long as there's no more than two miscues on a certain thing and, um, on the confirmation, such as your name or your destination or what have you, they said they cannot resend it with the correct spelling. They can't amend it. Now, I don't understand why this is. I, I could speculate maybe this has something to do with something fraudulent that could happen, such as somebody making a duplicate of some confirmation or some ticket, some ticket, and give it to somebody else to use. But the thing about it is that would be somewhat complicated because the other person would have to have their name, the same name as you as well and that would be pretty hard to find. It would be very tedious and time consuming going around trying to find someone with the same name as you and or 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 somebody producing some fake ID uh, with the with which of course would copy your name, but that would be a little bit not maybe somewhat far fetched. I'm not saying it's improbable, but it's something that would be very difficult to do. I think uh, Greyhound is obviously oh maybe overly stringent on their policies. Now another thing uh, that bothers me about Greyhound 
as well, and it's based on this experience. It was the fact that, okay, uh, I, somebody had told me I was trying to depart from a certain place at a certain time, one of our landmark spot, spots or what have you, um, on this trip. Now, I was told to go to like line C or something and wait, and I, I would, and I figured I would see when people would line up at line C, that would be the time to depart and get ready. So what I did was I got a little bite to eat where I was at their little a little uh, food station there, and I figured, well, Eddie, just relax a little. You can keep your eye on that line while you're eating. And if by some freak chance there's an early call and you happen to see people pile up on that line, you could discard your food and go to the line with them. And I waited and waited, and I didn't see anything. So I finished the food between like, like you know, just about 3.55, 4 p.m. The departure time was 4.10. So I go into the general waiting area. And I wait and wait. All of a sudden, it's around 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., and I inquired with somebody as to what happened. He said it already took off. And I talked to the gentleman that said that I needed to go to line C. I said, you know, you told me that they were going to go to line C, and nobody showed up. And they said, you know, the only thing they could do is rewrite the ticket, reroute the ticket at that point. As a result, I had to stay there like about about five and a half additional hours, and consequently, it extended the trip about seven hours. The total trip was like 27 hours it took me to get back uh, in, which it should have uh, been a little bit less. It should have been more like, like 20 hours. So it, again, it extended it to set seven additional hours approximately. Then you have, uh, and when I when I voiced the complaint to one of the people at that ticket sales, the person I was supposed to tell, she barely even responded. She, I don't think she even really responded to anything I said. I think she might have just logged in my complaint, and that was basically it. Now it's also another thing too, is that you have a pro there's a problem with the dispositions of some of these people at Greyhound as well. I got into it verbally with one of the workers there when I was explaining my predicament and that I missed that bus when I was trying, the one that was going to continue to my ultimate destination. And he said something like, well, I can't catch up with the bus. And uh, my retort or response to that basically was, gee, you know, I know there's molecules in the air that scatter blue light from the sun better. Uh, than the than the red light or whatever, and uh, I mean thanks for the insight, Robert. Thanks for telling me about that. And, and he said, "Well, you really went out in left field with that one." I said, "No, you actually just didn't have the ability to understand what I said." Actually, and he proceeded to his bus. He was one of the drivers there. Now, the thing about it is, I think Greyhound definitely needs to make some serious modifications regarding if you need to cancel something. People have to have some leeway because you do have extenuating uh, circumstances that can occur. And if something, you know, you may not be able to do anything to make a cancellation on something until it's shortly after uh, that departure time. And sadly, Greyhound to me, it's very cold and callous company and they, I understand like many companies and organizations, they are attempting to make money and not friends. Well, I think there's a way you can have both. You can have friends and money, and you can actually do things to accommodate others, and it would give others more incentive and impetus to actually ride the bus at future times. So those are some things I look at as far as uh, Greyhound goes, and really, I think, too, another thing that I would maybe suggest to Grant is that maybe they could put a snack bar uh, on on the bus and be able, like a snack, well, like a, maybe like a vending machine is what I'm saying. And they maybe they could reduce the stops as well. So this way, people, uh, there's less stalls because these trips uh, are very time consuming. I made a visit, uh, I mean, I uh, mean, really... May, I made a visit one time uh, just revisiting some old stomping grounds and and it took I mean it, it went from uh, Tennessee to New York and 
the trip took like, I mean, because it was actually, it was delayed because we missed a transfer point. Uh, we didn't get there on time. My whole trip was like around 36 hours or something. And I mean, that's almost, um, that's a really preposterous actually. And really those are some things I look at as far as uh, Greyhound goes. I mean, it's, I, I really would like to give it a stellar review. I really would, but I don't want uh, to lie. I mean, I don't want to do anything blasphemous or anything. So I think that's really about it as far as my uh, review uh, for Greyhound goes. And of course, you know, they, when you're riding a bus, you know you're going to have very difficult uh, difficulty in sleeping. I mean, people got to understand there's always the possibility of theft and that somebody might try to take something you got in the, in, you know, because um, especially when it's dark and the light and it's nighttime and the lights are dim there. I mean, I know that's a little bit minuscule, but it still could happen in theory. And that's really... And I mean, you're hitting, you're driving and trying, you know, trying to sit down and go to sleep. And it's really, it could be very difficult. I mean, so anyway, people, uh, that'll conclude this YouTube segment for uh, my review of, uh, of the Greyhound uh, bus services. Again, I give it one star out of five. I would love to give it more, but they just really, I just don't think it deserves it. And uh, you have anybody that tries to ride this, I would say if you have ability to take a plane, I mean, I would, I have a certain um, ear situation. I have a, had a myringotomy is where they drain excess fluid out of my ear when I was like seven or eight years old. And my hearing's a little bit more sensitive uh, than the average person. I need to obviously go to some doctor and find out about what I need, you know, if, if they feel by looking in the ear that, if I'm going in my ears, period, whether they think it would be safe to go or not. But I would certainly recommend flying over, taking the Greyhound bus any day. It would facilitate things for you. A lot of trips can be done in under two hours. You're traveling the continental US or even under three or four. I mean, it's really gonna be much uh, faster and easier to do that as opposed to uh, taking uh, a train and if you have delays on the train and it doesn't get to your spot in time then you have to you have to sit and you have a lot of luggage it can be very uh, difficult and really anyway people again that will conclude uh, my Greyhound bus services review and until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well